Hey! What's up, Arnold? You got back problems again. Well, experiments on YouTube are good for views, but not so much for your health. Congratulations! You are prematurely aging. There's almost nothing you can do. All creatures age. Well, almost all. The naked mole rat, for instance, practically doesn't age at all. The naked mole rat has a unique genetic structure. It has a very small number of mutations and, therefore, no age-related diseases. It hardly ages at all, and most often it simply dies in fights with other animals. Naked mole rats live underground digging their own passages, so sometimes they're called naked diggers. Arnold, what are you doing? Kids are watching us! Ah, are you imitating a naked mole rat? Do you want to see how everything goes on down there? Telomeres are responsible for aging. They're the tips of chromosomes that protect the chromosomes from damage. Over time, telomeres become shorter. When they become too short, cells stop dividing and die. But not in the case of naked mole rats. Be careful! As I said, mole rats live underground and are typically very aggressive. Naturally, since they don't die from diseases, fights are the only thing that somehow regulates the number of mole rats. Without fights, mole rats would have overrun the earth long ago. The naked mole rat is not the only animal that doesn't age and dies young. Among the ageless animals are also turtles, whales, jellyfish, fish, and salamanders. In general, a bunch of things that fly, swim, or crawl. Apparently, walking is harmful. Ancient Vikings believed that those who die in battle will go to Valhalla, a paradise for warriors. There's an unlimited amount of food and other pleasant things there. But why is everyone so gloomy? What? The boss says you beat up Chris yesterday, dumped trash on Jamie's desk, and did something disgusting with Miss Wallace. Of course, you don't remember any of that. But your colleagues don't care. Run, Arnie! This is the end, Bubba. Farewell to your one true love. And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality, or in scientific terms, his alter ego. It's called Dissociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Jacob, unlike Tim and Arnold, doesn't suffer from multiple complexes. He's fearless and sexy, and he'll stop at nothing. Even somebody as petulant as Tagai is intrigued. But there is one thing. Jacob can only speak Dumi, which is a language common to only Eastern Nepal. The alter ego often differs from one's main personality in the language of communication, gender, age, nationality, and even IQ. And in especially exotic cases, the alter ego can be an animal or even a religious figure. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Arnold, just look at what you've done. It seems now you think you're a psycho and you need to be treated. But split personality is not schizophrenia, and there's simply no cure. What's that? An SMS from Tagai. She wants you to come to her now. Inside Arnold, there can be only one. Congratulations, you have a chance to be the first person to get cloned. Get in the machine, Arnold. What could possibly go wrong? Now, let's do a little testing. Hmm, what's this? 
The cloning didn't work as I expected. Your brain is split in two with each of you having just one of the hemispheres. Blimey! The corpus callosum connects the hemispheres of the brain and consists of 200 to 250 million nerve fibers, each several centimeters long. If your grandma were to knit them into a thread, she could wrap it around the earth three times. That's amazing. Let's test your cognitive abilities. Well done, left-brained Arnold. Right Brain Arnold, what are you doing? Yep, yep, yep. Ah, right, the left hemisphere is responsible for language. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controls the left. So if you remove the corpus callosum, as is done in severe cases of epilepsy, the person will initially confuse their left and right limbs. Let's get everything back to how it was. Get in the machine, Arnolds. Yes, one at a time. Don't push. We won't start without both of you anyway. Be careful. Hmm, seems to be jammed. Hang on a sec, buddy. Most areas of the brain in the two hemispheres are duplicated. Therefore, if one hemisphere is removed, or if a person is born with only one, the other hemisphere can compensate for the lost one's function, and the person can lead a totally normal life. And that's what happens when you hit the snooze button 10 times in a row. You can oversleep the general evacuation of the whole planet. Come ah! on, Arnold. Don't go <laughs> rushing to get your panties all in a twist. People left a bunch of really cool stuff behind. What are you gonna do first? Seriously? A really huge burger? But what about cool cars and the opportunity to live in Trump's apartment? Do something cool! Wow, Arnie, you are a true hero. Releasing all the animals from the zoo, it's damn noble. Come on, folks, leave a like for this. But what about pets? There are 500 million cats and just as many dogs on Earth. And once they're free, they become prey to predators. But let's not talk about sad things when the whole dang planet is open for business. Yeah, the coolest roller coaster. The car accelerates to 206 kilometers an hour hour and drops from a height of 127 meters. Before, Arnold, they didn't let you in here because of your height, but now it's no problem. Hmm, somehow it doesn't look like it's all that fun. Without people, electricity will gradually disappear. Lithium batteries self-discharge after seven years, and you can forget about solar energy after about 20 years when the last panel fails. And nuclear power plants in a few decades will stop forever without human service. Arnold, get out of there! If you get injured, you won't be able to call 911. This time, you're in luck. As you can see, the problem with garbage ain't going nowhere. Plastic and glass will decompose only after 700 to more than a thousand years, and it will only get worse. Arnold? You survived! I see that the primitive life somehow suits you better than the civilized one. Living in cities is getting dangerous. I advise you to find another place to live. An airplane? Arnold, are you kidding me? I guess those thousands of hours playing Microsoft Flight Simulator really paid off. Arnold, look! There's one more rocket left on Earth! Hurry! Um, Arnold? I don't mean to upset you, but the lion you released from the zoo is on the plane and right behind you! Bon voyage, Arnold. One fine day, which didn't portend disaster at all, Arnold got locked up in a hypermarket until the end of his days. You may ask why, and the answer is just because. I simply wanted to lock him up in a hypermarket. Here, you can eat sweets and candy bars all day long, and you can drive around the store in a cart. At your disposal are goods for recreation, sports, clothes, and even medicines. On average, there are 120,000 different products in a hypermarket that will provide you with 50 years of a carefree life. But unfortunately, without electricity, a large part of these goods are going to spoil the very next day. At room temperature, the entire ton of milk that's in the store will be gone in just 18 hours. Fresh chicken, pork, and beef will all go bad within a day. Cakes and pastries will last a little longer, maybe 36 hours, if you're lucky.
you could try to prepare. You could salt the fish and dry the bread. Then their shelf lives will be extended by years. But hey, seize the day, right Arnold? After a week, vegetables and fruits will also go bad and you'll have to switch to cereals. But even just their preparation will deplete the limited supply of water you can drink by at least 10 years. You could try to extend that by filtering it through coal from the gardening department and then cleaning it with silver. Okay, so from now on, your usual meal is going to be canned food. Beef stew can last almost indefinitely if the packaging isn't damaged. And pickled cucumbers and tomatoes can be an additional source of water. So, the three tons of canned food that are in the store will last you for eight years. And then the last remaining source of food will be... Many things can be used for other purposes. For example, you can wipe your bum with just about any kind of paper. <laughs> Mr. Beast, cool! Arnold, it seems like you're lucky and you'll be able to take part in one of the challenges. Mr. Beast has become the most subscribed blogger, overtaking PewDiePie, who held the title for nine years. And now Mr. Beast is giving you a million dollars and your challenge is to spend it all in this huge supermarket. Yes, he's definitely gunning for the title of a new superhero. But there's also a dark side to his good deeds. Due to rumors that Mr. Beast was gonna visit a supermarket and would pay for everything in all the shoppers' carts, there were hundreds of people at one point waiting for freebies. And when Jimmy found out about it, he purposely never showed up at the supermarket in order to save the surprise effect for his other social experiment. And all those freeloaders, they just dumped their carts and walked away. But there were some good people too. They volunteered and spent all night helping the supermarket staff put all the stuff back on the shelves before it spoiled. But you seem to be in luck. You have one million dollars and five minutes to spend it. Where do we start? 50 PlayStation 5s, 50 huge TVs for them, 800 pairs of sneakers. I hope they're your size. Arnie, maybe you'll think not only about yourself and grab something for me. Thank you, friend. Leave a comment to give me a gift. Arnie, you managed to spend exactly a million dollars. How are you going to pay? Cash! Oops! Uh-oh! It's a prank! It's just Monopoly money! You're out of luck again, Arnold. Don't be upset. I have something for you. See ya, Arnold! Bye-bye, Arnold! Hmm. Oh. Ooh! Deja vu! Calm down, you paranoid pinhead! Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty. Hmm, another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right. This definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? How can you tell what's real and what isn't? Write in the comments about your glitches. <laughs> and I think I need to go lie down for a little while. First, you gotta get tested yourself.
Don't worry, buddy, it's a simple procedure. You've got nothing to hide. Or do you? There are a few ways to cheat a lie detector. For example, clenching your sphincter disactivates the nervous system and raises blood pressure so the readings won't be accurate. Start training, Arnie. Just don't overdo it. Congratulations, Arnold. You're now a polygraph examiner. Come on, you don't remember how to connect all the wires. So, you think you can detect lies better than a polygraph? Do you know how often a person can guess a lie correctly? 50% of the time, which is exactly the same as random guessing. And this is even when people are absolutely sure that they're right. People who lie a lot experience a 22% increase in white matter in the brain. However, their gray matter, that is neurons, decreased by 14%. So in that case, then cannibals might be the best at figuring out whether you're a liar or not. <laughs>